What's up guys, welcome to another Battle for Knights 43 commentary, this time on Guadalcanal. And today I uploaded two Modern Warfare 2 clips, uh, because I was playing private matches with friends earlier, and I got these two clips, one of my friends boosting, I don't know why the fuck they were boosting in a private match, but I found it hilarious. And the other one was of me quickscoping, and as you guys know, I suck with quickscoping, I'm horrible at quickscoping. And to top it off, it was on Xbox, and I'm not too used to the Xbox 360 controls. So I thought that clip was pretty good, you know, but uh, people started, well, not everybody, like some people started complaining. They were like, oh, why are you uploading clips, you money whore, this and that, everything. You know, it, there's always going to be people like that, but I just wanted to clear it up. Uh, I just want to say that, you know, sometimes I feel like uploading clips, and if you have a problem with that, then I don't know, they, like if it really bothers you that much. Uh, then maybe you should consider going outside, you know, seeing the nice, great sunlight, the beautiful blue skies, unless it's raining outside. Um, you know, going places, you know, having friends, other things that matter besides YouTube, if you're really getting pissed off like that. Um, but I'm not like a money whore. I don't upload videos every day just because I'm a money whore. The money is a plus. It's just I like doing this, and lately I've had a lot of time to do this because... There's not much going on lately. Uh, summer is coming, though, so I don't know what's going to be going on then. Probably not going to have too much free time in the summer, but I'll still be making videos and sirens in the background. Like always. This always happens. It's like the entire day I go through no sirens, but when I, when I start recording a commentary, boom, a siren has to appear. I don't know what the... F you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like speak to somebody about that. I'm going to like write a letter to Obama something you know maybe there's a law against i don't know i don't know there, there's gotta be something done about this i just maybe need to move out of the city um but anyways back to the topic at hand uh a lot of people they they well i keep saying that a lot of people some people they they like to complain about shit but what they don't realize is that this is free entertainment think of it this way if somebody gave you like a brand new car i'll say yeah a brand new car would you complain that there's no gas in the tank, or the car's too small, or, I don't know, the car's too big for you, or it's not good enough, it doesn't meet your standards? Would you complain? Like, would you literally go up to the guy and complain after he just gave you a free car? It's kind of the same thing that's going on here. I'm giving you guys free entertainment. You don't have to pay to watch my videos. You don't have to pay to, uh, you know, click like or whatever. You don't have to pay to do anything with my channel. And people still like to complain. Like, I don't get it. It's free entertainment. It shouldn't be something that you're complaining about. It should be something that either you enjoy or you don't. If you don't enjoy it, just shut up and move on. <laughs> that's the way it should be, you know? Um, so that's that's how I feel. But if you guys feel anything different, leave a comment, you know, argue with me, whatever, if you want to do that. Um, but anyways, just letting you guys know, I've always uploaded clips in the past. Before I've had my partnership and everything like that, I've always done the whole clip thing. Uh, I didn't upload them as much because I didn't really play private match as much with my friends and when I was playing I wouldn't be recording because I had a dazzle and it would be it would be pretty laggy and everything like that like after with the old dazzle that I had uh, my computer wasn't that great so uh, this is back in, with the old setup and I wouldn't be able to record for long periods of time because it will start lagging like the video and I hated that so I didn't record really private matches or anything like that, so I didn't really get a lot of clips, and I didn't record every game that I play, but now I record every game that I play because I'm able to do that, and I record private matches and just anything I feel like recording. Some days, I don't feel like recording. I watch this right here. This is awesome. Montage! Oh, yeah, this is a montage clip from that I'm working on with my Battlefield Nets 43 montage. Uh, if, you, if you didn't catch that, it was basically like, four kills or five kills i'm not sure in a matter of seconds and it continues on here i think i get killed i'm not sure yep i do um but anyways back with the old setup the videos used to lag i didn't record that much but now i record every game that i play because my computer can handle it and i could do like i can render a video record gameplay for another one record commentary like record a live commentary upload a video and browse the internet all at the same time with my computer that i have now and uh, it, it's pretty awesome to do that and that's why I've been uploading a lot more videos because before uh, with my old computer I would have to render overnight because literally it would take five six hours to render a video with dazzle quality that's like freaking 10 minutes but now 
uh, HD PVR quality renders in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I can render all day. I can render videos like freaking 50 videos a day if I wanted to. Um, it all depends on how I feel with making videos at that point. Some weeks I don't want to make videos, but I still do to make you guys, you know, come to my channel and enjoy my content. I don't just want to like leave you guys in the dust without any videos because I don't feel like making them. But then again, when I feel like making a lot of them, I don't understand why some people complain. You know, it's nothing really to complain about. But people are always like that. They'll always find something to complain about. Uh, it's just, that's the way humans are. It's human nature. I mean, uh, even me, I even do the same thing. I'm not like excluding myself. I'm not like trying to make myself seem like I'm Jesus or some shit. But, um, you know, everybody complains. We all complain about Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty in general. And we still play it. That's just the way we are. What the? Another one? I thought this was in another game. I'm just like ruining the montage now. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, just close your eyes and pretend you didn't see that. Because that's supposed to be my montage. <laughs> Uh, I've been making a Battlefield Nights 43 montage lately. I've been working really hard on my YouTube channel trying to get it out there. And the montage for Battlefield Nights 43 is going really well. Uh, usually when I record for montages, this is actually the first montage I'm recording for with my HD PVR. Uh, before with the Dazzle, it never went so well because, I don't know, just the quality and me not recording every game and some clips coming out laggy and everything like that. I just hated it, so I never really did montages, but... Hopefully now with the HD PVR, I've had it for like a month now, and the new computer I've had for like two, three months. Uh, it, it's going to be uh, much better with the montage making and everything like that. So, uh, I don't know what else to talk about. I've spoken about the whole clip thing and everything else. Oh, I know what to talk about. Some people were asking me, what about Battlefield 1944? They've made a 1942. They've made a 1943. What about Battlefield 1944? That would be kind of interesting, don't you think? I, I I really do think that they should make a Battlefield 1944. And I don't think that it should be the uh, the Pacific. Because they've already covered a lot of shit in the Pacific in Battlefield 1943. And if they do make another one, Battlefield 1943 Pacific thing, I don't think they should make that. I think they should just make map packs for Battlefield 1943. Uh, maps such as Okinawa. Uh, that would be a good one. Um, what, are the other, what other? Guam. Guam would be a good one. Uh, they've already done Wake Island, Iwo Jima, uh, Guadalcanal, of course, and um, they should just make like other maps because there's a lot more uh, battles that took place in the Pacific on islands. So I think that'll be a great addition to Battlefield Nights 43. And I don't care what they price the map packs, as long as it's not overpricey or whatever. But if they price it at like twenty dollars for three new maps, I'll buy that because if you think about it, it's hard to work on these maps because these maps are huge. So it's like, it's basically like $20 for three maps. In Call of Duty terms, these maps equal like freaking five Call of Duty maps. Because that's how big they are compared to the Call of Duty one. I know this is not another clip. This is bullshit. There's another clip. I always uh, cut up the clips uh, that have these little kill feeds at the bottom. But Jesus Christ, there's another one. I'm just like ruining the montage. Uh, I apologize for that. Just once again, close your eyes and pretend you didn't see that you know hopefully another one doesn't come up in like 10 seconds that would suck um you know I, I like to try to save the clips for the montage i like to try to save it so that you guys don't see the, the clips in the gameplay but i don't want to just like exit this commentary and start all over again i've been doing well so far uh this is actually like the first take uh a lot of times with commentaries i have to do like freaking 10 takes because i keep fucking up that's just the way i am you know i'm human i'm a human being i make mistakes and everything like that am i gonna hit this guy oh shit i actually did but I ejected. That's great. And that sounded very gay. But uh, it's always good to. Oh wow. Oh, I thought this was gonna be another one. I was start. I was gonna start flipping a bitch. But uh, it's always good to jump out of the plane before it crashes into a uh, radio tower or the side of a hill. You know, you don't want to be in a plane when it crashes because uh, you're not gonna survive unless you're like Jesus or you have like painkiller on or some shit like that. But uh, anyways, back to the whole Battlefield Nights 44 thing, or the map packs, whatever I was talking about. Uh, if you really think about it, these maps are really huge, so they equal like five Call of Duty maps. So them pricing three maps at $20 uh, is not overpriced at all. They actually do work very hard on these maps, making them detailed and uh, also making sure that they're balanced in the way. Because maps do affect the balance of games, and you guys know that as much as I do. 
And I know that they worked very hard on Battle for Knights 43 to make it extremely balanced. But uh, maybe it's just the fact that it only has three classes, you know, uh, Rifleman, Infantry, Scout. That makes it really balanced that everybody has those classes as soon as they spawn. So, you know, it's it's probably that that it's definitely that that makes it very balanced because in other games, you know, some weapons are better than others and people like to complain about overused and overpowered weapons. But the game is over. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I went 31 for 8. Not too bad. Lots of montages clips in here. Uh, until next time, peace.